struggling with myself a little bit um, because I don't did really want to start a video and I kept getting the urging to just start talking and I don't feel like it. I've had a glass of wine and I really want to relax, you know. Um, I hiked about um, maybe seven or eight miles today and picked up ashes from a tree that, um, or ash from a tree that um, I came across it, uh, where was I, where was I, Platte River, Platte River Trail, um, about an hour away from my home, and when I came upon this, I was walking along and following the river, Platte River, <laughs> um, and when I came upon this tree, I don't know anything about the history of these woods. You know, I'm assuming there was a fire at some point because there were scorched trees. However, this one tree was just standing magnificently in this little area where other stuff was nowhere around it. I don't know if it had been burned down. I have no idea. Um, there were other trees that looked like they had endured some scorching hard. That one, it took the whole brunt um, and there just wasn't anything around it, which, you know, I'm not up on tree-ology to know. Um, it's not a forest, like a thick forest. It's very sparse throughout, um, even in areas that aren't, you know, burned out or whatever um, that I've noticed, not in that area. That was not what I was finding. Um, so I'm not really sure about how that all came to be, but I mean, it was just so stark, startling to me that, oh my God, you know, this really tall tree, probably 30 or 40 foot tall tree that was absolutely burned, scorched, and just crispy. And it was standing there kind of alone. And then a few others looked like they took a hit. Um, but that one, it was just burned out. And I immediately, I wanted to fall to my knees, honestly. I was like, Oh my God, you know, um, I need to start, you know, honoring the dead here. Um, that's what I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing here? Why am I saying this? What's the point of this story is that that tree, when I went up to it, um, and kind of scraped off some of the, the burnt part when I scraped off and you know, I don't know, it's just a metaphor. Um, when I scraped off, it looked like it still had life in it. It was not through and through just burned all the way through. It still had color. Um, and like I said, it's just the metaphor of it. I don't know if that tree is actually going to su survive or not, but I took some of the ash and put it on my third eye and said, thank you very much. You know, how might I honor you? Because the pattern of the way that this tree was burned was just it was shiny and it looked almost like, um, reminded me of a lizard skin. It was kind of shiny and just weird, you know, and snakes shed their skin. Um, and it's a painful process for them. They go into kind of hiding and their eyes scale over and they're blind. And so they're very vulnerable at the time that they're going through their shedding process. They're very vulnerable. And here's this naked tree just hanging out in the middle of nothing. You know, I mean, there were trees close enough to it, but not, you know, within arm's reach or anything. So, you know, it's just weird, but here's this, this tree and it struck me, it's magnificence just struck me of, oh my God, you know, this thing has been through something really intense, like bar and, is still standing. It didn't kill it off enough to actually burn it right to the ground. And it's blessing me and honoring me enough to say, yeah, you can have some of that ash to um, cleanse up that third eye and protect and what have you. I had a Native American man tell me that, um, or woman, pardon me, uh, medicine woman tell me that ashes from um, the Palo Santo or the sage or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm burning whenever I'm cleansing to take that ash and use that for protection. She actually mentioned rubbing it on the soles of my feet um, and the tree said no just put that right up there on your third eye and I was kind of bucking it and going I want to walk around with you know this stuff on my face and the general reminder was really you know are you going to trust that the tree might know what to do with its energy and where to put that <laughs> or do you want to whip your socks and, and shoes and stuff off and put it because some lady told you that maybe you're going to want to switch over into that 5d consciousness understanding of woo woo understanding weird understanding of where this earth is headed you know weird spaceship stuff or whatever we're calling that that quantum field of woo you know wild and magical um maybe we're going to trust the tree 
tree that this tree is saying hey I have something I want to part to thee. Um, please take it and put it where I'm telling you to. And I had such a beautiful sense. Thank you. Um, I had such a beautiful sense 505 <laughs> as I was walking today the entire time. I've never been to this place before. Um, I don't generally go too many places twice. Um, that one's one I'll visit again, that area though, because it was just, it was magnificent. But excuse me, every place that I go has very different energy. And that energy today was really talking to me. I mean, really talking to me. And every place I go does. Every place that I go does, no matter how weird it sounds. I'm done with, you know, people thinking I'm weird and stuff. Like, okay, whatever. You live like a clown and I'll live like clown I am. That you think I'm a clown because I do this and I think you're a clown because you don't. Actually, I have no opinion about it. I just, I don't care if people agree with me or not or if they understand it or not because I know the power and the synergy and the trinity of hooking up with that knowledge is such that you don't have to go to but one day of that college and man you get bitten by it and really hear it. Oh, there is no reason to fear it. I wasn't feeling any fear on that walk at all, but I was feeling like I got to drop to my knees and honor this tree immediately. The minute I laid eyes on it, I mean, it was like, this is a shrine or something. <laughs> and wow. Um, and it was already catching me the magnificence of this area and not every area that I go has that same feel and none of them feel the same. It is very much like different personalities and different people, you know, and there are vibrational fields and energy fields that feel similar, safe, you know, at a minimum it has to be safe. I'm not going someplace where I feel unsafe, you know, if that, um, that's no fun. I don't do that. Hang out in places that ew, that's no fun. And I don't want to go to that vibrational field at all. Um, where I feel unsafe. However, there's different, you know, energy that comes out of these mountains be based on what lives there, grows there, isn't indigenously there, or what was indigenously, indigenously installed with <laughs> ancient knowledge that when I'm ready for that particular part of the college, I have to go to that class and I'm guided very much in the mornings or the night before, whenever I'm gonna go hiking, I'm very much guided to this is where you're going, you know? And I had no intention to go into that area um, today at all. I was gonna go somewhere entirely different. And that's something that the mountain was talking to me and saying it's based on the energy that's, it's in a fluid state of motion. You know, everybody on this planet has free will, including the energy of mountains, trees, animals, you know, um, natural law and natural order and natural world has its free energy too. It's just that that's the free energy that's setting the standard. Um, the free will energy that's setting the standard is we work collaboratively um, and we work high vibrationally. That's what we choose to do. Um, and we don't use our free will to stoop it out in places of, you know, combat with one another. Um, a lion taking down a zebra on the Serengeti is not doing that because it's personal. It's not, you know, hunting down Jack because Jack did something over here foul with, you know, so-and-so. It's a random uh, leopard or excuse me, random lion sees random zebra, then zebra's dinner. There's nothing personal about it. And it's the same thing. However, when as a human being, I'm connecting very personally with that energy from my direction to that, or it's talking to me and tapping me on the shoulder and saying, hey, look over here, it's very personal. And it turns into personal downloads of information that you came to this class. It's a cultivated class just for you, Kate, <laughs> you know, and don't wait, let's go 88 and get on into that class and get super, super, super valedictorian about graduating from that, <laughs> um, which happens instantly sometimes with the download of I just know oh, wow, something profound has happened here and I'm going to be unpacking this one for a minute, you know, probably for the rest of my life, some of them, and some of them are just, boop, they're there and I don't know anything about them, just aware that something happened. And sometimes, you know, it'll tie in a day later, a month later, years later, and I go, oh, wow, you know, um, to connect the dot. But I settle into that vibrational spot when I'm there. Um, and I have really had some interesting energy just floating around and dealing with some hostility and some, you know, anger of my own of trying to release, you know, some feelings that I have about, you know, being done wrong and all that I'm a human being. <laughs> However, I don't like walking into natural world, um, not nature, nature, you know, we're all in nature all the time. However, you know, where we live in our cities and what have you, they're less natured. Um, and I don't like walking into um, natural world world being angry aggressive and hostile and so I was really praying as I was driving up this trail road like please help me 
discharge this energy because I'm feeling a little bit pissy. I'm feeling kind of, uh, and I just don't want to carry that energy, period. But I certainly don't want to walk into a holy temple and be snarking and, uh, you know, <laughs> and being in a bad mood because I'm missing, aside from being highly disrespectful and dishonoring of where I am, I'm missing the whole point of why did you come here? <laughs> And why did you step into the temple if you're going to bring all that bullshit with you? You know, you got to leave that at the door. Well, I'm only human being, you know. And so I was praying, please, can you show me how I could get where I need to be with this? That I'm not bringing nasty into this beautiful and holy place, which it looks completely different. You know, a lot of the places look very similar. Um, they feel different. However, there are many that look similar to one another. And this place, it, it looked nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Not to mention, I was wearing snow chains on my boots, like, you know, snow tires and stuff and snow chains on tires. I was wearing snow chains on my boots, <laughs> which is, thank goodness I did, um, my first run on them. Um, because I needed them, but so there was snow on the ground, there were new conditions, it was a longer hike than I've been on in a little bit, you know, um, I've done that length of hike, of hike, it's just been a minute since I've done it, um, and so, I mean, there were a lot of conditions, very different, and totally different views of the Rocky Mountains, you know, so there was a lot, and there was a river that I could hear um, continuously as I was going, I couldn't see it always, and I knew that it was eventually going to get down to um, the river, and I had brought a, a bag of ashes, actually, ironically enough. Oh, you know, thank you. Um, ashes from uh, my sage and Palo Santo that I was guided to put that in a little brown paper sack and, you know, just bring those with you. I went, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. And I did, I put them in my little fanny pack and off I went and I forgot about them, you know, and then I saw that tree and went, Oh yeah, let me do that after I fought a little bit in my mind and got the kind rewind of, yeah, come back here and do that again. And I put a little piece of it in my um, fanny pack. And um, as I made it down to the river, the conditions are different. This looks different, it feels different. And I'm there to release. I knew whenever I put those ashes in there that they're not human ashes. However, they were re representing human beings that I have to let go of you because this is tearing me up inside to be angry, to be holding any kind of energy for you or me. I can't transmute any of it on behalf of anybody else and be free if we're continuing to come back. You know, that's just me feeding vampiric energy from a different vibrational field that's in 5D and beyond, you know, um, and I don't do that. That's codependency even still for me to try to heal other people that, no, you can't come swing by and want to, you know, settle in with rah, and I can't do that either so whoever's owning that me being angry at somebody else or them you know being angry at me it's triggering off in me and I need to stop that that's a portal of entry for some bullshit that I don't want to host that it doesn't feel good and I just don't want to think about that I got the things I want to do with my life than to think about the people who done me wrong or who I done wrong or who they think I've done I mean none of it none of it it's not cool it's a breach in my aura my energetic field my you know space it's in it's a breach in my bubble and I don't want that so anytime that's brought up to me that I'm given the instruction about how to release that and be free I'm gonna do that because it works and it doesn't mean that it won't swing back and need some more refinement because the programming has to be cleared out you know the human programming of everything that I ever learned about myself or was told about myself or believed about myself blah 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 that's being updated and refigured and rejiggered retold and reschooled then I need to be willing to let go of that that's where we're on to update you know whatever today is 14 point blah 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 then I need to be able to do that and the way I'm gonna do that is to listen to my team say yeah put those ashes in that bag you uh, mean the nasty little girl there <laughs> feeling hateful and shit we're going to release it and I was super glad I really was 14 to 4 just passed I was very glad that I knew it was going away it was just I was still feeling that you know <laughs> and I just don't want to do that and after I saw that tree um I remembered, oh yeah, and I grabbed a hold of the bag, the little paper bag that I had of the, the um, Palo Santo and what have you, and I started carrying it and saying affirmations because it's clear to me that um, Archangel Metatron is about, you know, record keeping, and we're redoing some of those records. We're releasing and closing down old timelines, then we need to recreate new timelines that don't include the old bullshit. So <laughs> then you're going to need to do that this way. And today, that is exactly 1444 how it went was hold that in your left hand and 
go talk to the tree for a minute. She's going to talk to you, download. You're going to cleanse out that third eye and we're going to do some more affirmations. And honestly, I don't even know what I said. I have no idea. I just know that uh, it was coming out, channeling what needed to be said. And I was clear that uh, Archangel Metatron is running this and it has to be cleared out. The old has to be cleared out if you're getting rid of, rid of an old program. That means you're installing a new one, 1515. And so we're gonna do that with this. And it's not always the same, it's not. And very rarely do I ever discuss or talk about the rituals or the ways that I do things because oftentimes I don't remember them. I'm told what I need to in that moment and then I'm gold I, and I don't write it down and stuff because it's nobody else's business and it wouldn't work for them to do it the same way. What I get from my guides, you know, there's some generic stuff and I'm sharing it today for whatever reason with myself or the world or whatever, um, with myself at a minimum to remember it, um, but not for notation purposes that I'm going to do it and clear this energy this way forever and ever. Amen. Mm. We're not there anymore because we have too many people that are awakening and finding themselves and really waking up to, oh, wow, we're onto a whole new system and galactic time is quick is lightning quick is you know uh, at light speed and beyond um earth time is a little bit slower but we don't have lag time a whole lot and so by the time i would translate to someone else an idea about how you can clear how you can cut those karmic tar cards and stuff uh, we're onto something else you know those people might be onto some other they should be they would be you know they should um they would be onto their own thing and if it's similar to something i've said that's really groovy however they need to get it in their head about what that is because everybody's team is going to be the most updated version the only thing i can do is help people maybe to get to their oracle door however i can't open your door for you and i can introduce you to your team your your team you know you might be introduced to your team as we're talking or something that's happened to me a couple of times that some stuff walked in while i was talking to someone they helped to activate that spot in me they could receive that however they didn't guide me to meet anybody <laughs> And they certainly didn't guide me through a door, a portal, or the cosmic libraries or anywhere else. That's uh, not something I subscribe to and it's not something that I'm going to endorse ever because that gives somebody else more power over you doing your thing and I'm not into it. Uh -uh. As a matter of fact, I'm very clear that I'm here to teach people how to get to your own door. I might be able to hand walk you a little bit to say your door is probably that way. Um, you know, it's probably that way, but I can't open that door for you and I can't shove a red pill, a blue pill, a purple pill, or a white pill, or a black pill, or anything else down your throat if we're going with the matrix understanding. I can't get you to swallow a pill, red or otherwise, and I don't want to because that installs that sense of power over you and then you think maybe you need me for that shit and you don't. No Nobody does. Not one person needs to be hand walked and have somebody open their door because you don't know what door they're opening. And portals right now are being opened all over the place for people who are waking up. However, how they're waking up sometimes is not always that they're waking up, waking up. They're waking up because they're using substances or they're brought to you know situations through stress and what have you that they're weak and overpowering energies that know 5D and beyond better witchery, bitchery, whatever, um, can kind of open up portals to other places that are not safe and that will allow entry into um, mental health issues and all kinds of addiction issues and stuff to keep that very low vibe and grind and rawr, that energy going. And that's what I have been really knowing and understanding and working with the last few days is uh-uh nah if you're gonna want me to be dragged down into hell let me just be proactive proactive with that and talk to these mountains and figure out how i'm gonna jump right down there with you and say hey how you doing boo we're gonna release you and then i'm gonna hop right the frick right out of that and leave you to do whatever you gotta do and then slam that door as i do because that's really how i want to be handling my information and my downloads from outer space or dimensions or God, Jesus, or whatever, you know, and I know I lose a bunch of people, 1909 just passed, I know I lose a bunch of people because they just go, what? However, I understand very clearly what's happening in outer space or 5D or any dimension above me that there's a lot of battle, there's a lot of warfare, and there's a lot of weird stuff going on. And <laughs> the highest vibration that I can be plugging into and channeling, that's what I'm always going to turn to. And it does not wear a human face. It just does not. It does not. <laughs> it never has. Because we're all here 
vibrationally being whatever we're being and we're not all on the same team we're all here as earth citizens and human beings and we all come with that very entry-level packaging and the entry-level um what do you call that software however we update differently and our other optional packaging that we get, you know, downloads of may not all be sweet and wonderful. It's not. I've seen some real demonic stuff in some astral places that, ew, that's nasty. That's from off planet. And yes, we all have God seed and God potential and all that other beautiful stuff, which is gorgeous. However, if somebody's got an app or a program going, their operating system includes some add-on bonus stuff that, ew, that's going to be very hard to get away from if you don't know how to do that or how to you know, cleanse and clear, or you pick up a, a virus kind of thing. And now malware will run your system into the ground and people will leave this earth before they have their rebirth into their beautiful place. Now I believe that every single person can emerge into their butterfly brilliance. I really do. However, if you are already from the very beginning, your operating system is contaminated and polluted because the people that are around you in your environment are, you know, just low vibing and they're installing all kinds of malware constantly. You have to have the ability and the understanding of how to acquire that information to get the most updated version of you that can boop, take that bullshit and, you know, flick it off of you. Otherwise, how are you going to get out of that? And like I said, I'm not afraid of going into dark places. No, I'm not, man. No, I'm not. Because that's what I came here to do. I've worked ugly jobs and I've worked around ugly people. 2121, um, part of my work was with quite a lot of very low vibing and nasty people. You know, just had to deal with them because that was my job. And I was a helping profession. I was a paramedic. So I had to deal with some very... Mm, <laughs> very dense energy that was very hostile and angry <laughs> and he did a lot of time in mental health so um and dealt with a lot of people who are very angry about being victimized and i understand it however uh, understanding the difference between vic being victimized by the programming <laughs> you can hold people accountable for installing mal malware on your computer and shit you can um and it's still going to be your job to clean up your computer because you know putting it out there for a technician that may or may not know what they're doing mm, you know no that's not a good plan but um having someone install bad stuff or just acquiring it because we're weak or whatever that's not how this works anymore it will leave us in places where we're vulnerable to more further attack and we have people who also you know you got to keep updating you can't just ignore the update because i don't want to see that updates can be painful they really can they can be quite painful and we have to lose things sometimes when we're updating you know if we're real locked into our flip phone and we just totally dig it we might not be willing to run to the next device even though you know it's actually going to serve us better um you have to let go of the old and anytime somebody stops slow and they they're starting to get resistant that's when I know that uh -huh, there's an update necessary there because I understand it in me that, oh, I'm definitely needing an, a, an update immediately of why am I resisting this? Why am I parking? Why am I not moving on this? And why am I digging in? If I'm waiting and patience is what's needed there, that's very different than, re different than resistance of clearing the air, whatever it is. And if I don't even know how to get that because I'm not paying attention, I'm too busy with the chaos, you know, malware looks like a bunch of stuff and it will take us down whether we have a flip phone or we have the most um, up-to-date technology ever. If we're subject to that stuff, somewhere inside us, our programming is still saying that we can be. And mm -mm, I'm all about you know, unlike a man-made machine, a, a computer, human being has the ability to, uh-uh, no, completely bubbleize me <laughs> and protect my energy 100%. And we're not going to get 100% because our programming, until we clear all that out, we're not going to get 100%. So every time I feel myself with the anger, with the blue, with the what, it's, people can throw their ass at me all day long. Most of it just, you can miss me with that shit, and they do because I'm not paying attention to you, and it won't land when it does though that's about me i have to go into my energy and say all right where's the vulnerable part of me that's allowing that shit to come in because that's a vulnerable part of me that i need to get the malware going uh, anti-malware you know run the virus scan and get that shit gone from me because otherwise that's going to collect energy at that clusterfuck <laughs> it's just going to collect right there at that clog and what could have been you know easily remedied if i didn't run away from it um will turn into a giant blockage eventually 
now depending on where in you know the etheric field and all that or where in the computer i mean whatever um metamorph metamorphosis metaphor you want to look at you know it doesn't matter but letting something fester and get bigger and bigger will just continue to get, move into blockages and then we're just locked into 3d long with you know believing that this matrix is really what we need to be doing and that it's the long time you know it's always been this way it's always gonna no it's not it already hasn't and every day every day it's just amazing to me that i'm reading the news and seeing the tear down breakdown and destruction i mean the absolute destruction of paradigms that you know people are saying i'm worried about this person because you have celebrities that are just out there off the chain with what are you doing you know and companies buying other companies and overpowering and whales the number of whales recently that have died or been euthanized uh, excuse me uh, elephants there were there have been a whole bunch of whales that have been beached however elephants also I've seen either dying in zoos or have needing to be euthanized and you know like these are some of the most um, sentient and sensitive creatures on the planet and when they are dying in mass numbers that's why I'm here to do this work 2555 that no 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 our most brilliant cetaceans and pachyderms that have a lot of information for this planet mm -mm. people like me were waking up waking up waking up and going around and flicking others going hey psst, did you want to wake up because we need to replace that faster than the tear down and if we get all caught up in the news of what's dying and what's happening and all the chaos that's uh, malware that's taking hold of me and going uh oh and i felt myself getting involved with the news and you know my social media platforms and stuff a little bit too much like nah nah we got to go visit um platte river and talk to that tree that's going to help you release that and they did in fact make it to a spot in the river that I was asking the question, I'm like, I wonder where I'm supposed to do this? And the, the general reminder was, hey, just, we'll let you know, we always do, and we always do. And I kind of chuckled and went, yeah, that's that programming bullshit that, <laughs> that I get kind of wrapped in it because that's the old me, that's the old programming itself right there, KT. But, oh no, what about, well, you'll know, you'll know, you always do. Ever since you've been plugged in and paying attention, it's always been there with you, right? Oh yeah, 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 that's right. And so I'm carrying it with my left hand and I got, you know, Archangel Metro right there going yep we're good um just keep saying that and i got to a spot and went oh it's right here and i went down to the river um and it's cold it's a you know not a raging river but it's got rocks and it. it's very beautiful and i had walked past the spot i knew i was in the area i was like i think i'm supposed to and i said just just hold up you're, you're in the area just, just hold up and i walked down and the reason that i needed to walk down was to see that there was a split in the river there was a split in the river. And so as I released that energy, I went back up to the spot. Because when I thought about it, I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to stop there. No, you're not. You're supposed to keep walking. But I thought I was, you're supposed to just listen. <laughs> and if you're fighting, you might not hear it. So I walked down and went, oh, yeah, I got to go back to where that was. Because I see now that there's a split. The river goes down. And then there's an opportunity to go right. And there's an opportunity to go left. And those remains in the paper bag represented different people and I took a handful out and said my prayer and said my release and cut karmic ties the way that I was told to um, and tossed them in and said I release you and it is your choice friend from here on out we're done okay I'm closing it out and I'm, I'm updating my device and you're no longer relevant not even remotely and if you don't want to update you don't have to however you have to back the hell away from me and go on with you and your life however it looks whatever it looks like I can't save you and I'm not going to try to and I'm not going to think about you anymore whether you think about me or not this portal is closed and this timeline is it doesn't exist anymore we, re we have already rewritten it it was just for me to release you so goodbye to you <laughs> and you have the choice and as I released each little handful I didn't look to see where it went the first handful though <laughs> This is why I didn't see was the first one as I did look and I noticed it got clogged immediately in some branches and stuff and went, oh, if Mother Nature, if Gaia isn't singing and speaking to me constantly, she is, and other people too, if they want to hear it and don't think it's too weird or they don't fear it, um, it got clogged up right there and I went, yep, that's pretty much that energy. That's exactly how that person operates is to get stuck immediately person that used to tell me all the time that be a problem solver like 
Did you figure it out? I don't know. I didn't look at it any further. I went, oh, that's funny. And then I went back to my business, but it did occur to me that I wonder if the problem solver figured out how not to be caught up in all those um, branches right off the top and whether or not anybody went whatever road they went or path of, of uh, right or left that they could have gone. It all ultimately goes to the same place. That's the way that works, that rivers work, is it ultimately all returns to the same place. Eventually, whatever the path looks like, whatever it is, even if it evaporates and goes, it all recycles and goes to the same exact place. So I didn't decide one way or another whether going right was good or left was good or bad. I, I didn't. I just said, you have the choice. To, because the physical location wasn't important. Thank you for the clarity. Um, it wasn't about that. It was about understanding that we all have the choice to go right, right angle, right, sacred, or dark night. And which way you want to go is up to you. However, I am definitely releasing you because I can't fight the fight. And if I continue to fight with someone, even energetically, when I don't need to be, when that's just part of my history and my trauma and drama and blah, you know, all that, <laughs> then I'm hooking them karmically and I'm either paying their karmic debt for them with them or I'm creating more for myself. And I ain't about that bullshit because I got a life to live that's a whole lot more fun because I took all kinds of pictures and was also enjoying it and knowing too that I'm releasing you and you get to decide for you what you do with this experience. And none of those people have to know a thing about it <laughs> unless this is published somewhere. None of those people have to know any of it. They have no idea what the ceremonies and procedures and all that rituals that I do on a daily or once a month or whatever it is. I just, I move when I'm told to. It's, it's not usually daily. However, cleansing is daily um, when it needs to be. And then, you know, those special ceremony things, they pop up on the fly. Usually that I'm just told, hey, go do that. <laughs> go do that. Go put that there. That's going to be part of a ceremony later or whatever. I'm given the information I need the exact amount that I need. And my biggest lesson I've had to learn is if you don't know it, you don't need to know it. <laughs> if you got a question about it, we'll inspire you to ask the question because if you haven't naturally asked it on your own, then you will get curious all of a sudden about shit you weren't curious about. And then you're gonna have an answer. And there's no more days of distraction with answering or asking a bunch of questions out of my anxiety because I'm not living out of that vibrational field of always needing to know stuff. And that's been hard because that was part of my programming was to get super duper OCD and answer a million questions for me, please. You know, cause my anxiety. And so that has been, but it's beautiful because the kind of mind I get every single time that I'm starting to twit out weird, which happens occasionally, not so much anymore, but I did find myself going, wait a minute, I thought I was supposed to, you know, stop back there. And the kinder mind was just, we're, we're in charge here, right? We're in charge. Then you know that we're going to let you know. And by the time that was finishing in my consciousness, I saw the split in the river went, Cool. And then I turn back and go, yep, yeah, that's the one. You got it. See, <laughs> we're demonstrating to the K that, that we got this. You and we, we, we have this. You and me, we have this. My higher self, my guides, God, Jesus, you know, whatever anybody else would call it. I have very specific, you know, names of identification so that I can distinguish the different energies, but they don't need me to do that. Um, I need me to do that. So it makes more sense as a human being. I am still operating an avatar as a human being. However, they've got that and we're in close communication and it doesn't matter to me um, so much that I know the whole complete story. It would blow my mind and I would probably explode. 33, 33 just passed. Um, I would explode if I knew all that or had all that information downloaded all at one time. I'm still a human avatar. I need to have great respect for that. That nah, if we'd let all the water in the um, river back up and then, you know, let it gush, you know, if we play dam with that, if that's not a controlled evolution, that's going to flood towns and make all kinds of damage. And so I'm very aware that no, you couldn't have just gone, you know, throwing that stuff in the river <laughs> without having a clearing here for whatever reason. And it's not the same every single time. This is the first time it was this way. You know, they all are. I don't think I've ever done any kind of a re release ceremony that's been the same. So um, I was very clear and I was listening to quite a bit of um, stuff on YouTube, people that I follow that are very wise, um, prophetic uh, women. Um, 
and some tarot readers are oracle readers just they're great you know prophetic readers and energy readers energy healers all different kinds of people and currently they're predominantly women um except for nasa which is predominantly men <laughs> my nerd side there's there's men um and my chick side is usually chick um and that's just the way it is right at the moment it hasn't always been that way that's just the way it is right now but i was listening and and the confirmation just comes it was coming again and again and again as they were saying stuff I was seeing it and I was hearing the mountain energy talk to me and when I passed back by that tree <laughs> I said thank you so much you know it was probably another hour or two after I went by it the first time and so much ground had been covered and so much information had been downloaded that you know I couldn't believe it and it was like that tree was just saying to me see told you you need to clean that you know and ain't, isn't that great aren't, aren't you just you know thrilled that you're just growing exponentially and other people can too and that's where we are with this whole thing is we're now we're, we're on cosmic time where you know earth time can be slow as you know and yet people can have those quickenings and they do and the energy I was working with that energy was absolutely waking up and going yeah I'm through I'm not doing that anymore and you know I didn't ask a whole lot of questions because that OCD part of me that's not allowed to to sprout up and get you know into bullshit energy because that pulls me into a 3d thing and so I don't have an interest in doing that it doesn't come up very often and um, so I didn't ask a lot of questions of it I was just getting the downloads of yeah this energy right here this energy right here and they're waking up and they're moving lickety split because that's where we are in cosmic time and in earth time you know the clock and all <laughs> that'll run you know the same 24 hours in a day however galactic time that speeds up you know exponentially when we the further we get into those understandings we move through information rapidly and we still have to be able to move it through our 3d body so that we don't blow circuits and gaskets and stuff and so that's a delicate balance but it was so sweet and so precious to be working with that energy that was just so kind so loving um, and it always is it's, it's just different there's harsher energy out there you know, I was in a place not too long ago that, oh, there was straight up battle going on there. However, the, the good side is always Mother Nature. It's just that Mother Nature will rip your house up and, you know, not even think anything of it. It's not personal. Um, but there, there's a kind side to Mother Nature as much as there's a destructive side um, or a sweet side and a destructive side. You know, it's not personal. It's how that energy is showing up at that moment and what's going on cosmically and cosmologically um, and what's happening with human beings that have infiltrated that area can affect it too. However, the Gaia energy is always 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 working for the good and high vibration so I find a great deal 37 37 love numerology um, that's a 10 10 <laughs> and I'm gonna take that one thank you friend um, that mother nature Gaia energy is always working to support the healing of the planet the healing of human beings that they want to connect with that because she's self-generating um self-regenerating and self-healing it's us that's getting in the way of that and so she's very happy to connect with anybody that's willing to connect with her i haven't found that to be anything but true and it's just it's a gorgeous connection and i could care less if people think i'm crazy or not i don't care you can think i'm crazy and you know 50 years from now five days from now you know 50 minutes from now or never for you it doesn't matter but that's where we're going that's where we are and that's how this earth is is healing and moving is we're going into that 5d consciousness we're not moving to a new planet you know there isn't going to be a in my humble opinion and what my downloads are is there's not going to be some you know um second coming of jesus and we're all moving to a new planet and we're not going to occupy mars before we stay back here and fix planet earth we're not going to be allowed to make that happen and that's just my understanding is you know we're not going to be able to desecrate and denigrate and destroy one planet before, and then go on to another because we've just done that somebody has to clean up that mess and the people that are here to clean that mess up are also here to say yeah that's part of all of us as earth citizens is to kindly remind other earth citizens of how this is how you can clean up your life you know um because you're not gonna be an earth warrior until you know how to be a you warrior if you don't know how to warrior for yourself 
without being, you know, just awful. That's not a good way to be a, a warrior for yourself. That's a good way to be a gangster, you know, that's out there destroying everything in your path. Um, it, me anyway. Um, and if we're not good warriors for our own selves, we're not going to consider being, you know, a protector for Gaia or anybody else for realsy realsy. We're just going to be gunned up and ready to destroy and destroy isn't the answer regenerate and heal is the answer you know we all have to live here this is the spaceship we're all on or in i you know the globe the blue ball whatever the people want to understand this is ours this is what we have and it doesn't matter whether other people want to occupy mars or otherwise uh, or other places in outer space it's what we have right now you know and we're not going to get by with selling some idea to ourselves or anybody else um my information does not tell me any different that we're not going to be allowed to just wait it out until Jesus comes back or some other ascended master prophet is coming back to beam us to another planet. No, you got to stay there and clean up your mess, you know, period, <laughs> because that's the problem. And so new understanding going forward is we're all accountable for every piece of everything that we're doing. And if we don't care, you know, about ourselves, we're going to be littering, we're going to be setting shit on fire, and we're going to be shooting and killing and doing all the stuff that it's boiling to the top oh we're, we're at the boil now we're, we're right there at the and you know you phoenix up or you you know just never phoenix up and you go down however the energy choose you know the fork in the river the fork in the road the crossroads however we're understanding it uh you choose one way or another however that all energy is all going to go to the same place how you ride that's, you know, it's not to destroy Mother Earth in the process. It just isn't. We all have our choice. So that's enough. 4114. <laughs> Love mirrored numbers, man. That's just beautiful. Thank you so much to Divinity and thank you to Gaia Energy for, wow, just really packing it in for me and making so much sense. And um, I think it's time for another glass of wine. <laughs> My shoulder's kind of sore. <laughs> I'm an injury that's uh, I'm coming up on four years old and it just... Uh, it's it's just gonna be releasing today because I got rid of some of that baggage of uh, that was not nice the way that that happened that was a brutal thing, um, uh, you know an assault on my person that uh, I was carrying some real mm, hate us energy about it quite honestly and wasn't able to release it and going please you know I just I'm aware that this is me you know uh, but I got to get rid of this energy even if it was installed by somebody else and I was victimized well, I, I'm still responsible for the update on that how can I get there and I kept getting the oh we have to work on some other stuff we can't fix this until we fix this until we fix this and you know there's some there's a law and order to this there Kate and you're just gonna have to wait and patience <laughs> okay that got that answer though I did ask the question because I needed to understand that I'm not being punished I'm not being punished or unhealed because you know God isn't listening to me and said wait a minute we're healing other stuff because if we take our eye off the ball to come heal this just because you're physically uncomfortable a little bit take a towel and get over yourself that we need to work on that because the bigger picture the greater plan is we need to reinstall and we're not going to deconstruct that area over here until we take up what's really a priority in the master plan not the master race master plan the overall plan the bigger plan for what you specifically have to do and how that integrates into the rest of the world with you because you live here and you've got to integrate your energy and stay in that vibrational field then we might have to take a detour every once in a while so thank you very much this is wild i thought this was going to be a few minutes and we're into 43 minutes so thank you very much and another glass of wine we're going to help that relax and take another time on all or two mm, and be grateful that i still have an arm it wasn't ripped off and yeah i sustained a concussion during that and i'm not a bubbling blabbering you know burbling idiot so well not by my standards. I'm sure there are some people who would be happy to say she probably drools and pees her pants. And I would say, yeah, not anymore. Thanks. <laughs>